Okay, what's going on? Um, so in this part, uh, what you're going to do is take the power and potential difference that you got off of the back of your appliance, um, and you're going to use those two things to calculate A, how much current your appliance uses, and B, what the resistance inside the circuitry of your appliance is. Um, so we'll start off by taking the power and uh, the voltage and we'll use that to calculate how much current your appliance uses. Um, and so we'll do that using the power triangle. Um, so we're solving for I, so that means we're going to take the power divided by the voltage. So I, excuse me, equals P divided by V. Let me adjust the size of the font here. So I equals P over V. We know that the power is 250 watts for my blender. Now keep in mind, you're going to do this for yours, so the numbers will be different, but I just want to remind you how we calculate this. The voltage is 120 volts. We're looking for I. All right, that's our unknown, so we're going to calculate that by taking I equals 250 watts divided by 120 volts. Now, I want to stress, folks, that for anything um, on this assignment that you're not sure what the math is, please, please, please use a calculator, right? You don't have to do anything in your head here. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I can't remember what 250 divided by 120 is, so I'm going to divide on my calculator. I get 2.08, and I'm going to take that 3 as well, so 2.083. So I'm going to write that down. Um, 2.083, um, and then remember that current is in amps, so 2.03, 2.083 amps. Don't forget to include your units with your answer and make sure that you're showing work. I won't give you full credit if you're not doing those two things. Okay, and then for the second part here, um, you just need to calculate um, the resistance of the appliance. So now we're going to use... Um, the voltage and the current that we just calculated um, to determine what the resistance is using Ohm's law. Uh, we're going to assume that um, my roommate's blender is ohmic, even though I'm not 100% sure that it is. In fact, if I had to guess, I would guess that it's probably not. But let's just assume that it is. Um, okay, so we're going to uh, first we're going to figure out our formula. So we're solving for resistance. Um, so here, let me get my font and my color, right? I want to do this in red. So resistance equals, I'm going to cover up R, I'm left with V and I. So resistance equals V over I. So that's the same formula that you'll use. <clears throat> Voltage equals... Um, for my appliance, 120 volts. And I imagine a lot of your appliances will also be 120 volts, but make sure you just use what's ever written on the back of your appliance. Um, the current, we just solved for that. I is 2.083 amps. So I'm going to write that in. 2.083 amps. And then the resistance is what we're solving for. So I'm going to give that a question mark. Okay, so then I'm going to plug into my formula. R equals 120 volts divided by 2.83 amps. And so then when we divide those two things, and I'll definitely need a calculator for this one because I don't know how to do that in my head. So 120 
divided by 2.083. I do that, I get, I'm going to round that to 57.61 ohms. So 57.61, is that what it was? Yep, 57.61. And again, it's one because the nine rounds the zero up to a one, right? So you, whatever number you're taking, you take one digit afterwards. And if it's five or higher, you round up. So because that's a nine, we're gonna round that zero right here up to a one. Okay. So. 57.61, and then we're going to insert a special character. I'm going to pick this one right here. That's the omega symbol. And that's our answer. Resistance is 57.61 ohms.